This is Colin here with Capital Volkswagen in sunny San Jose, California. And today we're going to take a quick peek at one of the staple models from the Volkswagen lineup, the Volkswagen Golf. The Golf was actually introduced to the world by Volkswagen in 1974, and it's gone through a couple different product refreshes over the years. But today it's available in many different flavors for the modern buyer to choose from. We're going to show you some of those flavors today. Now the Golf, as compared to other similar cars on the market, is much more usable because it offers a hatchback design which actually gives you a shorter bumper to bumper length than similar cars but at the same time gives you much more interior volume to work with. The 46 cubic feet of interior volume on the Golf are accessible once you fold the seats down in the back and as always it's an exceptionally engineered German vehicle. Very sturdy, very safe and also extremely economical has a low entry price and a ton of standard features that you're not going to get available on other models. Good solid German design means that it has the sturdy feel when you close the doors, exceptional safety ratings, and then on the standard Golf you're going to get a 2.5 liter 5 cylinder motor. And this motor is ranked at about 170 horsepower, 177 foot pounds of torque which is more than enough to get you up to speed and where you need to go and is actually quite big when you take into account the size of this vehicle here. Now this motor and overall design has helped the Golf to win the World Car of the Year award on two separate occasions. The Mark VI Golf, which we're looking at, actually won that award back in 2009 when the design was debuted. And then recently, the Mark VII Golf, which is available in Europe and will be soon coming to the United States market, won the World Car of the Year award in 2013. Now let's go take a look at its slightly more efficient brother, the turbo diesel. Now while the standard Golf does come with a gasoline motor and a lot of standard features, you can upgrade to the turbo diesel. And the turbo diesel is going to give you a very usable technology. It actually is much more fuel efficient than the regular gas motor and it delivers more torque. So it's a great blend of performance and economy. You're also going to get a few extra little standard features like fog lights and paddle shifters if you opt for the dual shift gearbox or DSG transmission. Now underneath the hood here, the diesel technology has been proven. Volkswagen's been using it for a great number of years. It's extremely reliable. And some of the cars that are running out there, I've, I've had customers come to me and, and one particular gentleman bought one of these from me and he had a 1999 Golf TDI with over 300,000 miles on it, still running strong. And it's a, it's a two liter turbo, weighs a little bit more than the regular Golf but it does actually produce about 140 horsepower and 236 foot-pounds of torque with the diesel. So it's actually more torque than the GTI, believe it or not. And uh, underneath here you can see that they keep everything tucked away pretty nicely, but if you'd like more information on the diesel technology, it's also available in the Sport Wagon and in the Touareg as well. Now for the GTI. This is probably one of the more popular Golfs. It definitely has a strong following because it was really one of the cars that made the hot hatch revolution really popular a few decades ago. It also was a really, really important car for Volkswagen because it helped them to pioneer their DSG or dual shift gearbox technology. And now you're gonna find that used on a ton of other cars besides just the Volkswagen products out there. Underneath the hood, it's got a, a two liter turbocharged gas motor and it's rated at about 200 horsepower with about 210 foot-pounds of torque. It's an extremely tunable car, you can do a lot to it. There's a lot of horsepower that's just hidden underneath there waiting to be unlocked if you do your little ECU reprogramming and chips and all that fun stuff that tuners like to do. But it comes stock really well equipped. Better brakes, better suspension, and a unique interior that's going to set it apart from the other cars on the road. Now, starting in 2012 and 2013, Volkswagen introduced the Golf R. This was a replacement for the previous R32, which used a V6 motor. But instead of opting for a heavier V6, the technology nowadays allows them to just boost up the existing 2-liter and give it a lot more fun. It actually runs a turbo that's about 3 PSI over the standard GTI, and it's got stronger cylinders and higher input injectors to support that. You're also going to get larger brakes, a much stiffer suspension for the handling, and four motion all wheel drive, which has been race tuned to give the car much more grip to carry down that power. You've got a little bit different aesthetic styling on the front end as well. The little R name badges are going to set it apart because it's a pretty exclusive car. If I'm not mistaken, they only imported about 3,000 of these vehicles 
to America for their first year production run, so it's not something that you're gonna see every day. The motor underneath here has been boosted up. Again, it's still a two liter turbocharged gas motor, but it's been boosted up to about 267 horsepower with about 260 foot-pounds of torque, so a fair bit more than the GTI. But let's go take it out on the road and see what that actually means. So not only is the GTI a 2012 IIHS top safety pick, but it also uses a bit of technology that you're not gonna find with any other car at the same price point. It starts in the mid 20s and you can get it with either a six speed manual or a six speed DSG or dual shift gearbox transmission. And it's a dual clutch transmission that was actually pioneered by Volkswagen for the production car, but the technology originally came from the Indy Racing series. So basically it allows you to shift with the same control of a stick shift, but it's much faster. These fancy headlights come on the driver's package and they're adaptive headlights, which means they actually swivel up to 15 degrees depending on the speed of the car and how much you turn the steering wheel. So it helps aim the light around the corner and it's especially helpful on night uh, driving, especially on like mountain roads if you're driving over 17 or any other kind of twisty turny road. The LEDs are daytime running lights, which are really just for aesthetic effects only. They look really nice though. Now in the back of the car, you're also gonna get dual tip exhaust. And then of course, really the car, the main point of it is that it's usable. It's got a ton of space in the back with still that great performance. So you don't have to compromise. Now on the interior, you're gonna find that with all the Volkswagen products, the fit and finish is exceptional. It's also been extremely well designed, very intuitive to use, and the touch and feel is much better than other cars in a similar price point. Very comfortable. I'm not the shortest guy in the world, I'm about six foot four, and even with the sunroof, I have plenty of room in the front seat and in the back seat. I could have someone equally as tall as me sitting right behind me right now without any issues. The touchscreen interface here is available on most models as a standard option, and it's gonna give you navigation capabilities on the higher end models like the one we have here. Seat warmers are also standard features, and then on certain models, you're gonna get this kind of retro golf ball style shifter for the ball. It's an homage to the original GTI. Now with the Golf R, you'll notice immediately that there are some pretty noticeable aesthetic differences on the front. You still have the adaptive headlights, which will swivel to give you that really nice uh, usability. The LED lights are mounted a little bit lower to distinguish it, and you're gonna get the R name badge here. This one's also a certified pre-owned vehicle, which means it's gonna come with Volkswagen's additional warranty on it. It's been inspected for that, and it's actually longer warranty than the new car would come with, so it's a great value. On the inside as well, you're gonna find a few things that come standard. Um, with the Golf R, most of the things that come standard with it, even on the entry-level model, are like the top-of-the-line features with the GTI. So it's still available in a two-door or a four-door, but the four-doors are gonna come with navigation, sunroof, as they're already included options. Um, also, kind of on a side note, the stick shift with the clutch is the only option for the Golf R for the first two years now, and then we'll see what they do for 2015. Uh, they, they have been talking about offering DSG as well. Let's go take a look at the inside. Now on the interior of the Golf R, you're gonna find a few characteristics that are not available on the other cars. One of them is the blue needles on all of the dials, the tack, the speedo, the gas gauge. That's a signature for the R-Line series. You're also gonna find the brushed aluminum trim and the little R name badges that are not only put on the dashboard, but on the headrests of the seats and on the outside of the car as well. The basic interface for the navigation is also the same, but dual climate control is a standard option for all the Golf Rs. Seat heaters, of course, not that you need them in California, but they are nice to have. You're also gonna find on the outside of the Golf R, they have a few other signatures. The wheels here have this three-spoke design that was actually taken from the Audi S-Line wheels. You'll find it on similar models there. And then the rotors are bigger, the brake calipers are more powerful, and the suspension sits a little bit lower for a sportier ride. I wanted to thank you guys again for taking time out of your busy day to check out our YouTube channel and see all the awesome products that Volkswagen has to offer today.
If you'd like any specific questions answered, or if you'd like to set up a time to check out any of the cars you saw today in person, please do not hesitate to reach us directly. You can either contact us online through our website or by calling the number that should appear right down there at the bottom of the page.